So he caught this poor fellow. I'm gonna release, release her. Gone. Look, this is evidence of a second batch of swallows. So from the one that I was rescued this morning, there's a second group of fledglings occurring. Isn't that right? Their eggs are so tiny. Look at that. Found on the ground. I don't know how I spotted it in amongst the gravel. There we go. Off to do some other jobs now. So I got gifted two of these huge troughs. This one here and this one over here. I don't have cattle. So what I'm gonna do is, this is a weed suppressor, because if I had, that would be too glary for the trees coming, reflecting up underneath their leaves. So these are all my baby trees that I've grown from either seeds or cuttings. And so I'm putting this, and I'm debating whether to put fleeces in underneath to hold more water because there are drainage holes. So if there's loads of water, but this way also I can tend them. They're more my height and they're higher up so I don't have to bend down so much. So this is my first one and I'm kind of thinking about putting fleeces in to retain moisture so it doesn't drain out so quickly. And then that one I'm going to put down here. I did have pallets down. And the thing is, I don't want the direct contact to the wood chip because then the trees can put roots down. So it's to prevent the trees from going too deep. And see that plastic pallet that I got a few years ago, that's got all those trees in it. And see, I now have to weed my trees. See, this... Uh, um, sycamore. Then this is a walnut. This is an oak, one type of oak. And here you can see is a different kind of oak. This is a beech tree. This is a hydrangea. That's a horse chestnut. You can see I've got several horse chestnuts. This is a dogwood. Whoops. Here's another. Look at this beautiful oak. And then more oaks. But I have to do lots of weedings of my trees so that they get all the nutrient contents and water from um, when I'm watering them and looking after them. And this makes it so that I can tend and look after them. I really, some of those I really do have to plant now. They're getting to the height where I like to plant them out. So this coming winter, there will be a lot of plantings is all I can say. Look at that, those willows. Those are gonna go be planted out. I know exactly where they're going. They might go before um, winter. Anyway, here's loads of other of my baby oak trees and a sycamore. So these are just hydrangeas in here. Oh, no, there's a beech. Oh, and there's some apples. But uh, yeah, things are rotating through. But that, I now have to move down there. And those things are really heavy is all I can say. I think I might put fleece in because they will retain more water and moisture around the trees so they don't fry in the summer heat that we're not having. But I like my oak trees to get bigger than this. This oak tree over here, let's see, where is it? There, I have do have one oak tree that's pretty big and I'd like to plant it out somewhere. Maybe it's back here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that oak tree there is quite big. So, and this one here is as well. Look, they're two different ones. Look at that leaf. This is a kind of yellowy one. It's yellowy not because of, um, it's not feeling well. Do you see it's making baby leaves? That one is has a more reddy tint to it. So there's different colored oak trees. You can see this one is a smaller version of this one. And this one I think is a smaller version of that one. So there we go. Anyway, that's 
what my Saturday is doing is reorganizing my tree plantation area with my assistants. So did a bit of checking on the flock of lambs and I'm going to let them out now to a new area of grass. They're going to go up the laneway to the worming paddock is what I call it. Let's see if I bring this this way. Look at you guys. You're munching the manure. Oh, these bits of baling twine everywhere. Are you coming? Come on, girls. got to tie this back it's going to cause an accident okay come on babies come on come on girls come on <laughs> Woo! look at those dark skies they just don't want to leave do you not want to come out come on Woo! come on they don't want to leave i'm gonna have to herd them Get behind them. You're not coming out, babies. Come on, old auntie. Are you coming? Come on, girl. Whoops. Panic stations. Come on. Come on, girl. Come on. a girl making her way through. She's going to lead the way. Come on. a girl. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. Munch a munch. Come on, babies. Come on, babies. You're getting left behind. I know you're hungry. But there's plenty to eat where you're going. Come on. No, why are you going that way? Come on. Come on, lambs. Oh, I forgot to pick up the last of the wire fence. My fault. There we go. Old matriarch knows the way. It's like this way, everybody. And here they've got loads of grasses and herbs. And here is, you can see there's yarrow. There's yarrow about to bloom. Look at that. Loads of food. Fresh food. Munch a munch. Brindle, come here, leave her. Come on. Leave it, dogs. There we go. So they're gonna spread out in this field, in this paddock. and munch. There's clovers and herbs and all kinds of things. They're starting off on the short stuff. Clovers and fresh raised grass. This was the pathway to another paddock. 
Look at the others are in the deep stuff. Long grass grazing, this is called. All kinds of herbs are in here. Look, there's a uh, hawkweeds there. Loads of hawksweeds, daisies. There's purple clover or red clover. There's a uh, speedwell and uh, there's some speedwell. And then there's bird's foot trefoil. More hawkweed. And there's dock, white clover. Here's a uh, lady's bed straw. You see this stuff is lady's bed straw. More purple clovers. Look, the yarrow is starting to bloom. It's just beginning to bloom. Here's some thistles. And what's really beautiful is over here is the um, beautiful blue. Look at this. The yarrows are blooming. There's butterflies. Loads of butterflies as I walk through the grasses. Look at this. Chicory. Chicory. Loads of chicory. Look at all the chicory they get to eat. They'll love the chicory. They haven't discovered it yet. So, let's see what else is in here. There's grass, more clovers and yarrow and look at that. Hey Brindle, you coming through here? Yeah. So that chicory might not be standing later. They'll have figured it out and be eating it. Oh, down there, there's lots of bird's foot trefoil. So loads of things. Look at this beautiful insect. Let's see if I can zoom in. Oh, it's flying away. Look at that. See. Oh, flying away. It's a beautiful insect. Oh, going away. Butterflies. Oh, hello, old girl. How are you? How are you? She's going the opposite direction from the chicory. They'll figure it out. They'll find things to eat. And as they move around through the tall grass, what's really cool is the butterflies and moths that take flight. And the swallows will start swifting over them or swallow or swooping over them. Swallows and swifts are two different birds. We don't want to confuse the issue. Do we, Java? The other thing, they'll start eating these flowers as well, the sheep. There they are. Look at the haze of blue of the chicory. <laughs> 